tonight we're looking at two teams who make their living beyond the arc, Grant. Yeah, they love to shoot the three-point shot, and they do it effectively. And of course, that means these two teams understand the importance of good spacing. They're great shooters on both sides to be sure. But motion and ball movement are the real keys to their three-point attacks. The starters for the Golden State Warriors. Thompson the two with Wiggins at the three. Green out there with MP. And it's Poole in at the one spot. Pass to White. And stolen by Edwards. McDaniels with it. Poole picks him up. McDaniels passes to Conley. Knocks down the triple. Well... Conley can be a volume score from the arc. The defense can't let him just have those opportunities. Pool from long range. McDaniels with the rebound. Now here's Conley. His offense has been solid, scoring around 11 and a half points a game. Green against Towns. The shot comes out, and Golden State will go the other way with it. Last time they met was in Minneapolis, where they beat the Timberwolves. In their last game against this opponent, they secured the win because their second unit really stepped up. And you know what? If they run away with this game like they did in that one, um, I'd expect to see plenty of minutes again for the guys coming off the bench. Here's Conley. After the Warriors picking up a basket just a moment ago. And the whistle on the... Draymond Green. First personal foul. First team foul. Towns, an elite scoring talent with incredible size. And so Towns nails them both. You know, when he referred to himself as the greatest big man shooter of all time, Carl Anthony Towns certainly raised some eyebrows and sparked some debate in the NBA fraternity. Now here's Thompson. He's averaging just around eight and a half points a game. And that one's good. Cool. We highlight Thompson's scoring often. But right there, just a great read to get it to the open teammate. And about two minutes into the first quarter here. The kick out to Conley. The three. He drops it from range. Conley's got six points. You know, with Towns, there's no doubt he's a lethal shooter from downtown. Well, the numbers don't lie, man. This guy, B.A., has been around 50, 40, and 80 throughout his career. 50% field goals, 40% three, and 80% free throw. Tell me how many big guys can match up with those numbers. Very few. Already finding his spots and capitalizing, playing really efficient basketball. Edwards with it. He had a 30-point outing in their last game against Sacramento. In total command of the offense, the passing was insane, especially when you consider how many points he put up. Here's Green. And he's going to the line. And resume of Draymond Green. Well, the Timberwolves struck gold by getting the number one pick in the 2015 and 2020 NBA drafts. You are so right, B.A., selecting Carl Anthony Towns and Anthony Edwards, respectively. Two important players that have already had a tremendous impact on this team. Boy, how about the strength of Edwards? Confident in taking on defenders and finishing. There's a screen. And that one's good. Cool. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. And you know what? They're going to keep using it. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. Now here's Edwards. So versatile on offense. Averaging around 23 and a half points per contest. And there's a three-second violation. And some changes here for the team. Reed's checked in for Towns. And it's Alexander Walker in for Anthony Edwards. Golden State has gone two for three from outside the arc. To the wing, right side. Looney passes to Poole. From the arc. Alexander Walker grabs the board. The Timberwolves trail. There's a minute 17 left in the first quarter of the game. Reed to screen on Peyton. Clock at six. The shot by Alexander Walker, no good. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. You just missed it. 
Here's the pick. Pass to Looney. And here's Poole. The three ball. Reed with the rebound. Here's Noel, guarded by Poole. McDaniels travels in the layup for two. And somebody that's really comfortable carrying the offensive load. The Warriors have gone four of eight and looking in control. The shake. Poole's shot is off. He's certainly been cold this quarter, guys, but trying to shoot his way back into a groove. Here's Alexander Walker, guarded by Peyton. Despite the height disadvantage, oh my, he just attacks that interior. You know what, guys, honestly, I didn't think he'd win that battle. I mean, that's a lot of height to give up. Pass to Looney. Poole outside. Launches a three. Poole can't get that one to fall. And at the end of one, a closely contested game... So on the floor for Golden State, Wiggins and Green make up the forwards. Then it's Jordan Poole, then it's MP, and it's Wendler in at the two guard. Now here's Poole. A 17-point game for him in the win against Oklahoma City. There's a screen. And the Warriors miss again. It's obvious they're becoming frustrated. Nothing seems to be going their way. You know, guys, no denying it's been a rough patch here. I think they've got to run whatever is best in their playbook to get a good shot. Thanks. Well, MP in their last game against the Thunder really lit up the floor. He had 18 points and gets in shooters' heads with the shot blocking. He was dominant, and they're hoping to get more of the same from him tonight. Take it away. Yeah, he was unstoppable during certain stretches. It'd be great to see him top that performance tonight. Well, his team needs him to contribute. He just makes play after play, for sure, and draws so much defensive attention that it opens up opportunities for others. Pass to Edwards. 119 left in the first half. The three is up. He can't hit that time. And Golden State will go the other way with it. Left side, Green. Over Edwards. Here's White. And the officials call goaltending. Almost blocked that shot in time. Just a man a second late. The free throw off from White. Minnesota's gone four of eight from three. A nice percentage. Edwards. And that one goes in as he's through. For confidence. He wants to become the best to ever do it. And he believes he can. Showing. <laughs> 54 seconds left in the first half of this one. Here's Poole. Pass to Windler. Looking to win the run. Towns with a rebound. Towns has got a sixth rebound on the night. Poole against McDaniels. Now here's Edwards. Here's Alexander Walker. The three-pointer off the mark. One second separating the shot clock and the game clock. White against Edwards. White, good. White's got four points now in the quarter. That's a nice play there. Not going to miss many from there. 
Outside Edwards. From the baseline. That shot yeah. off. And so it's the Minnesota Timberwolves with an impressive 16-point lead heading into the break. They're getting... Thanks for stopping by, everybody. The story tonight, everything, and I mean, they're scoring the ball with ease. The defense has done nothing to slow them down. This is what you look like when someone tried to. And moving on to some awards, these are the two players of the week in their respective conferences. If Thanks for tuning in. gap on the scoreboard. The second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. And you know, Anthony Edwards has been really making it happen, guys. He's been so disruptive defensively in the first half. His fast hands pick plenty of pockets. Well, I thought it was a great defensive performance for him so far. He's aware, he's alive, he's alert, quick to react to everything that's going on around him. Can't do it much better than that. Towns plays the four with Gobert in the middle. Filling in the wings, Edwards and McDaniels. And it's Conley in at the point. So that's the Timberwolves five. We've seen the pace of the game ratchet up every year, Clark. Might that trend reverse at some point? I don't think so, B. I mean, the game is meant to be played fast, and because of the potency of the three-point shot, the skill level of the players, the athleticism, I think you're going to continue to see teams play with a lot of pace because that's easier in terms of producing points. Thompson against Edwards. The shot that time not on target. The Warriors go the other way with it. On the wing, Thompson. And if you're just joining us, we play just over a minute here in the third. And the Warriors. Excellent all-out energy in every minute he's on the four plays hard and uh, with great intensity and he's got a commitment to working hard in practice that is a that is a really good franchise play the timberwolves making a switch here noel's checked in pass to towns from outside the arc it's hauled in by white white's got eight rebounds in the game Practice certainly has paid off when you look at Anthony Edwards' stat line, Clark. Yeah, improvement across the board, B.A., and that doesn't just happen by accident or osmosis. you got to put the work in. In almost every category, his game is only getting stronger and better. The future, extremely bright for this young man, especially if he can keep that arrow green and going forward. First personal foul, first team foul. And really strong at the line since the break. No misses yet. You can't do much better than that, guys. Peyton with it. He's picked up by Edwards. Peyton, no good. A rare miss for him at point blank range. That's the one he'd like to have back. Pass to Edwards. Towns with the ball. Now Reed takes the three. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Towns. Yeah, communication breakdown. Two guys thinking in opposite directions. The pass winds up in the stands. Peyton against Conley. To the inside. Back to Peyton. The three. The shot misses, and so it's the Minnesota Timberwolves leading by. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. 
Payton's gone one for four from the field. And so in the game for the Warriors. Poole and Thompson man the backcourt. Wiggins and Green make up the forwards. And it's White in at the center position. Among big men, Towns is one of the very best spot-up shooters there is. And very consistent on the catch-and-shoot jumpers. Here's Poole. Oh, and Reed with a block. Left side, McDaniels. From downtown, it's rebounded by Golden State. White's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. White with a screen on Conley. Poole from long range. McDaniels with the rebound. Going into halftime, he had two threes in his pocket, but hasn't added to that total since. Pass to Edwards. Back to Daniels. And he caught that pass in full stride on his way to the big slam. Unselfish. As somebody who already draws a lot of defensive attention, Edwards has to be willing to make that next pass. The baseline, Jay. Here's White. And there's the bucket. Staying with it that time. Offensive glass getting it done. Just owning the offensive glass right now. Just refusing to let up. I love his ability to carry his team for, for long stretches in games. And we're right now in one of those stretches. He's been doing this for a couple of games in a row now. So he's, uh, he's rolling. And he's doing things on the glass tonight that we don't often see. Boy, he has put in some major work. The Warriors also with a sub. Kaminga, he's checked in for Andrew Wiggins. The Warriors have gone one of four since the fourth quarter began. Poole finds Green. White against Gobert. Tries again. And Gobert with a block. And just a top tier shot blocker in the league. Gobert's massive wingspan is a huge reason why he wipes away all those shots. Edwards, the pass to Gobert. Pass to Towns. From seven feet. Second personal foul, first team foul. It's a bit of a fresh start for Gobert, a main star of this team that is loaded with talent but needed that defensive anchor. Now Thompson, this one for three, drains the triple. I really believe we can go ahead now and lock Klay Thompson in on the short list of the greatest pull-up shooters in the NBA, and we might be talking the all-time list here. It's Edwards on the wing. to shoot back to Conley over pool second shot opportunity and it's gonna be a goaltending call here so they will count the bucket yeah it was just a little late I mean he thought he got there but the ref saw it otherwise white with a screen on Conley down low and there's white that's good on the assist by pool doing what he can to help shrink the deficit but it has to be a team effort Thompson against Edwards. One forty six left in the fourth. Connects from downtown. Edwards got twenty one. <laughs> they have a relentless mentality, even with the game in total control. And you know, until that final buzzer sounds, I mean, you've got to treat every possession like it's crucial. We've heard the cautionary tales in the past. Does it seem like players today are getting better financial advice, in your opinion, Grant, to make their money last? Yeah, B.A., I think they're getting better financial advice, but I also think that the times that we're in, I think there's more awareness. Players understand the pitfalls or potential setbacks. Uh, the social media, digital age, all the information's there. So players today, yes, they're making more money and I actually think they're doing a better job of protecting and saving their money, too. The shot by Towns, no good. Golden State has gone only one of four from the perimeter here in this fourth quarter. 
And let's face it, this one was never really in question. They came out with purpose and just overwhelmed the opposition. A great win for the Timberwolves. And everything seemed to go their way today. They were firing on all cylinders, Grant. Yeah, B.A., this was the kind of performance you relish as a player. Just a very impressive win. And they increased their win total to 29. And they needed this win tonight after failing to come away victorious in the first matchup against these guys. Now they have evened up this season series at one apiece against the Warriors. And of all the highlights and performances we've seen here tonight, the one thing that stands out is what an unbelievable night it's been for Anthony Edwards. Well, the defense just couldn't figure him out, and he continues to put it to him. Big move for Minnesota. Outside Conley. So we see the Timberwolves taking the W here. Showing that they're the far superior team. They win it going away. I'll tell you what. Give it up for their fans. They love to watch this team dominate. You best believe they're all going home happy tonight. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Ali LaForce, Clark Kellogg, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson saying thank you for watching the NBA.